my stride. So welcome back to another YouTube video here at Cookie Pox College James and we are joined by Worcestershire all-rounder Matthew Waite. Today we're going to take a deep dive into what Matty carries in his cricket bag on a day-to-day -day basis. See if it's out in the, you know, how it's different or whether it's just a regular kit. So I'll let Matty have a quick look. It looks like he's got a bit of all sorts in there for us. So It's very simple actually. I carry four bats. Do so you have um, certain bats for certain white ball, red ball, net bats? or This is the one I've been using in the championship this yeah, year. Yeah, so that's your red ball so bat. call that my red ball yeah, bat. It looks yeah. like it's had a fair bit of use. Yeah. And it's round there, and then you and Kip have kindly done me two new ones. Yep, for white ball. Yep. Very nice. Yep. Oh no, that's not the new one. So I carry four bats. Yep. Um, old Colossus bats, which is yeah, which one is, of the Kip fixtures. Yeah, so you use the Wavex handle as well, and yep. his Colossus are big edges, slightly lower swells, you know, as full as possible. Around the 290 to 210 weight for Matty, he's not really overly fussy about weight, he just mainly goes on pick up, you know. But, um, yeah, so what else have you got in there for us? Next, I've got my Straight and Fox side pads, yep. which I've had for many a year, but they're meant to last you a full career, so yeah. they're quite Seems like it. every pro seems to have them, don't they, pretty yeah. much? And then I've got something that I'm not sure many people have. A bit different an Aldi shopping bag. An Aldi shopping bag, yeah. what have you got in this Aldi shopping bag? Yeah. My boot bag, boot which bag. is brilliant because it's robust, it's big. <laughs> and How it's many got, pairs of boots do you have? I've got three pairs of boots in there. So, Two pairs of bowling boots. Right. A pair of batting boots. Some some grips as well, yeah, actually. Yeah, some grips, looks like Yes, everything in here. And then an ankle brace. You still wear that off? Yeah, yeah, every game. Every game. So I've got an ankle made of biscuit. <laughs> So, yeah. so you've had a great start to the issue of both bat and ball, yeah. you're at a new club now at Worcester, have you settled in well there? Or? Yeah, it's brilliant actually, they're very very welcoming, um, very nice club, it's like a family feel club, um, I'm really enjoying it and as you say it's started quite well so hopefully I can keep that up. Has anything changed in your day to day routine or your match preparation? or? No, nothing's changed, I just think a run of games and the opportunity to string a few games together. Having a good bit of backing and yeah, getting Yeah, just a field. fresh start, just good for the head and stuff. Yeah. So, you yeah. went out to South Africa in the winter, didn't you, like a, by yourself, didn't you, to have a pre-season? Yeah, that, that's, that was basically because bowling indoors is a lot harder, yeah. so I pick up a few niggles here and there, so I wanted to get out outdoors, so I did. I get it six weeks out there, just building up to bowling. A lot better than being over here. Yeah, and, it's, that. and that's paid off really because mm. I've gone to, I've gone well so far with no injuries and stuff. So yeah, touch wood. Yeah, touch wood. What else have you got for us today? Uh, yeah. Got my coloured pads. Yep. Because we're in the T20 season. Um, and then I always keep my. Ooh, nice helmet uh, colour. Yeah. Uh, rapid helmet. Yep. I just keep my gloves and my box in my helmet. So same I know where same as me. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of the other pros are boxing a sock. Not no. for you. No. no. Um, it's a nice looking white ball helmet there, sponsored by Vitality. Two more pairs of gloves. How many gloves do you reckon you carry? Just three? Three pairs. Do you have a set for matches and then training, or do you just rotate them as and when? Just rotate, whether yeah. they're dry or not. Yeah. Um, and that's about it. It's quite simple, is my bag. I've got. I think I see a slinger in there. Do you have a slinger? Oh, yeah. Token cricket ball. Oh, yeah. Nice. Which is always handy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and just a slinger. Are you, good? The lives. Are you good on the slinger? Uh, mm. I'm slow, but I don't miss often. Yeah, just line and lamps on yeah. the grass style. Yeah, that sort of style. So, just going to fire a few, a few questions like um, your favourite cricket ground that you've either played it or not, do you know? Do you know what? New Road's actually very nice. You like Worcester's New Road? Ground, yeah, yeah, very picturesque and beautiful. Do you want to uh, say a worse ground you've played it or? Anyway, you've got bad memories, or you don't ever do well at all. Durham. Durham, you always yeah. struggle at Durham. No, I always pick up injuries at Durham. <laughs> pick up yeah. injuries. I do remember that game where you dropped like three catches. Oh and... yeah, I had a stinker there as well. <laughs> yeah, Durham is a bit of a bug. You've you still got your bent finger from that ground. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Mm. Yeah. You can see that. Yeah, he dropped a catch and bent his finger. Yeah. Best player you've played with, do you reckon? I think I know who you'll say. Harry Brook. Yeah, I think yeah. we're gonna go with Brookie. Yeah. Fastest bowler you first. Uh, first game over and on my debut, which was very quick. Um, yeah, 
Yeah, I'd probably say over 10. I didn't know whether De Wern Oliver might have been in there. We were quite nasty at Nets, weren't it? Yeah, he was tasty in the Nets. Josh Tung? Josh Tung, yeah. yeah. To be fair, I'm lying about Tung because I've not actually faced him in the Nets yet. But yeah. he's quick. Yeah. yeah. So, have you got any goals or aspirations going forward for the future? Do you know, have you got any targets you set yourself before the season? Or? Uh, not really, because I just wanted to string a few games mm. together and then as it's gone on, you sort of get an idea of where you're at. Um, and I think if I can get, in the championship season, if I can get over 700 runs and 35 wickets. Do you know what you're on now? 16 wickets and 360 so runs, maybe. Halfway there, pretty much. Six games, so there's eight left. Yeah. So I think if I can keep that up, that'd be quite a successful season for my first one, like full season. Yeah. Do you have anything when you want to pick a bat? I know you let us do a lot, but is there anything you really like in a cricket bat? Or? Uh, to be honest, I trust you. Yeah. Like, you always pick me good ones. Um, I'm a bit indecisive, so yeah. I think I let you do that. And you always pick me some good ones. See how these two go. Yeah, but hopefully plenty of runs in them as well. Yeah. So going forward now it's white ball and back into red ball and back into white ball and you know, mix and matches. Do you have a do you prefer red ball? Do you prefer white ball? What's your favourite uh, format? I think I'm probably enjoying red ball the most at the moment, but that's because 'cause I'm playing and doing yeah. quite well. Um T twenty is a lot more intense and quicker. Um I do enjoy the 50 over games as well, yeah. I've had some success in them, yeah. Um, I enjoy all of it to be fair, any cricket. Um, just like to be out and playing. Yeah, definitely. So that's pretty much about it off the top of my head, I don't know if any of the um, YouTube followers have got any questions for you, but yeah, feel free to drop a comment, but thank you for watching, please like yeah. and subscribe.